As 2022 comes to an end, a European Union embargo on Russian energy supplies will kick in. The embargo is set to come into force on December 5th. This though is replete with loopholes. These loopholes have been put in place to ensure that those countries within the bloc which are critically reliant on Russian energy supplies continue availing them. Nevertheless, the EU's restriction is still very rich. It's rich because it has not been thought through and because Europe has found no major alternative energy supplies yet. Now, the United States was the primary force behind Europe's decision. In fact, it was expected to come to Europe's rescue if something went wrong. But the US is now rather explicitly sending signals of its inability to help the EU countries. Europe is effectively on its own. According to multiple American oil executives, the United States cannot ramp up current production levels too much in the short term to make up for the vacuum that absence of Russian supplies will create for Europe. Europe has become a colossal victim of self-inflicted injury. It decided to boycott Russian energy supplies despite not being sure of whether it could find alternative sources of energy. To be fair, the United States did make Europe believe that it would be standing by its side every step of the way. However, Washington is now getting its oil and gas producers to shirk responsibility at a time when Europe needs American help the most. According to industry experts quoted by the Financial Times, even though the US has huge reserves of energy resources available, the industry's exports of oil and liquefied natural gas are close to hitting a maximum. One big shale investor said, and I quote, There is no bailout coming. Not on the oil side, not on the gas side. Head of private equity group Quantum Energy Partners, which invests in shale assets, was also quoted by FT as saying, It's not like the US can pump a bunch more. Our production is what it is. Once the European Union's embargo on Russian energy supplies kicks in, the global oil market will face a vacuum of 2.4 million barrels per day. Russia will cut down on production. That will result in oil prices possibly shooting over the roof once again. The global oil cartel, the OPEC+, Plus, has already said that it cannot increase its daily output. So, Europe faces a precarious situation. It finds itself lacking oil and gas sources while also facing extremely high energy prices. In March this year, Joe Biden had pitched himself as a savior of Europe along with the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. The US president had then said, we're coming together to reduce Europe's dependence on Russian energy. The European Union relies on Russia for about 40% of its total gas consumption. Back in March, Ursula von der Leyen had spoken of a US commitment to provide those short-term values. But the US has now washed its hands off that responsibility. In the absence of American supplies that can make up for the lack of Russian supplies, it is not clear what Europe will do to salvage its precarious energy situation. So did Europe just get played by the Biden administration?